All right, Brick Maniacs, it is time for another episode of Brick Mania TV. Maniacs, we have an all new Charles Leclerc designed by John Canapa. Yeah, what? I almost said Siskin. John, John Siskin. <laughs> Blaspheme. Blaspheme, John Siskin. Illegitimate. Jan, did Dan. Can we okay. say illegitimate on um, TV or whatever this is? Oh, we're actually. Oh, hey, we fixed it. Let's just keep going. I like this. This has got some nice feel to it. This is the Charles Leclerc. Very nice. French tank. Vive la France, of course. It's a wonderful tank. It's lovely. It's Look good. how colorful it is. I love my job, right? But we do build a lot in black and gray. Sure. Now I get to build this in black, brown, and green. Oh wow. boy, huh? What a treat. Wow. And not only that, we got to add a little more color back here. Let's just go right to the good stuff. <laughs> we have a little <laughs> bottle of wine. Now this normally, is the history section here. Now doctor. normally you don't drive around with a baguette and a bottle of wine in the back of your tank. But why not, right? Because I, I visited France once and the food and the wine was excellent and I want to just like, you know. Is that why all the Abrams tanks have cheeseburgers <laughs> in the back? <laughs> that I wouldn't know, okay? Cooler on top, full of... The cooler on top. I guess we did put a cooler on... Full of White Castle. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we did put a cooler on the Abrams, so this is the equivalent. Right, okay, so, but to be serious, this is, this, this is a France's main battle tank, one of the five best tanks in the world, according to people that rate those kind of things. AwesomeTanks.com. Awesome. <laughs> that's exactly. probably actually a website, so that's it's, not. You see my old paper right here says that one of the top five MBTs. I now, see it, it's highlighted. I MBT can... means main battle tank. Oh. I even know that. How about that? Um, Mozzarella, now, bacon, tomato. That's yes, what written there. and mayonnaise. Oh. Um, okay, sorry, keep going. And it's armed, okay, so the real thing is armed with a 120 millimeter south, south bore, <laughs> south smooth bore. bore cannon, right? Smooth. And its other armament is a 50 cal right here. That's, this is implying the 50 caliber machine it. gun right there. It's a good implication right yes. there. Yes. And then, I mean, we could have put the, the, the anyway, this, that's what I that is. I see it. It's right, I, I knew what it was. And a 7.62 millimeter machine gun yeah. for the now this is where the commander would sit this is the commander's periscope um, it's also called I have it written down here here it's the HL 70 the tank commander's main sight that's what this is right here then you have the gunner sight here the gunner sight is a sagam gunner sight s-a-g-e-m sagam I couldn't quite figure out what those if it means anything but that's what it means that's what it means yeah exactly it means what it means now, so this this tank, I got a really nice motion. Very nice. With the treads, right? Yeah, and you got some. You have the side skirts on there. Side uh, skirts. You still got yes. it rolling. That's pretty solid. This That's is cool. extra armor protection here. It doesn't have the full armor protection. The Azure, whatever the heck that Azure Urban Kit is, but we wanted to use put this here, and we have this nice um, printed tile here, which I believe this is a free French tile, not a free French tile. Last time we had a free French tile. On our website, people kept calling like, "I want like a free French tile, not a free." Wait, wait, I have it the way. I guess it's. I see why they got confused. Okay. Yeah. So we <laughs> should just call it a f free French tile. Free French. Rather than tile. free French tile. A free, yeah. So and and if you check out this side, this is a sticker on this side. Whoa, mixing which, things up. Which when you will take a gander at it, you really can't tell which is which at first Can. look. So. So Slam, as usual, did an excellent job with the stickers, nice, high quality nice. stickers. Um, these are to indicate the uh, grenade launching system, which, according to my research, has, uh, there's two banks, one on this side and one on this side, which hire, hires, <laughs> which hires people to run in the tank. No, which fires 80 Just millimeter smoke grenades there. or anti-personnel rounds. So, so you can set off some smoke. Right. It's decked out in the countermeasures that you'd expect to see there. Goes up, goes down. Um, goes all around. Goes all around, opening hatches. Closing hatches. We even have a little compartment here. Uh -huh. just, for just more for, baguettes. Just for, 
little compartment Yeah, so top. if you don't want to have to look at the baguettes in the back, if you want to put some serious gear back there, more weapons or whatever, you can put some your baguettes. Serious gear, not silly gear. You can put your Sacre Bleu uh, wine in there, and then we can put this right on top. Yeah, very nice. And close that up. I can't see what's happening. Now you can. Yeah. Very right? nice. So then you have, you know, you can, you can always put one of your other guys in here for the gunner. You've got the tank commander comes with it. Yep. Beautifully done uh, printed character designed by this gentleman here. It's me. This Lando. Yep. Gee, you guys do you want to go over that or do you want to keep talking about it? Me... No, that, oh, this was going to be our first choice. Um, it's Cody. Mini Cody. Is that Cody? Because Cody was making most of the main battle tanks, but he's busy making cool things like the Osprey. Is this his lunch box? And some other cool planes coming down the road. He loves making, well, he loves making. He also loves his little blue lunch box. He's got a blue lunchbox. The, uh, so, so we ended up not going with Cody because Cody was busy designing other tanks. Exactly. So he, he's sadly like, absent. I'm going to have my kit. lunch. Uh, instead, uh, we had this uh, tanker oh. here, Central European camouflage pattern going on here. Uh, very similar to Woodland. The blotches are a bit larger. The colors are a little more subdued uh, compared to Woodland. It's very cool. Yeah, uh, I was happy uh, with the way it turned out. I love it. So he's wearing that tanker outfit. There's a, he's got a jacket, so there's a little bit of a hood going on there. And then the pistol belt that goes around the, the uh, minifigure. And of course, goggles printed on that minifig, nice. minifig cat helmet. Right. So again, this, there's some really cool stickers on the front. Um, you have a couple of choices of what you can put on the side here. And then, of course, in the back, just to, just to give it sort of its realistic look, uh, the, the kind of... Uh, information that they would have on the on the vehicle itself. So, very cool. Like like I said, you and Slam did excellent jobs designing all the uh, cool uh, little extra, extra features. Now you do actually have a little opening um, hatch right there. Like I was saying last time, usually my main goal with these is to get the look right. Yeah. And then make sure that I put at least the features in there that people will enjoy. Um, Little ba the little basket in the back, which is really cool. It's like a tool compartment back here. Um, of course, the, the movement of the gun is very important, the look of the gun, very square here. Um, and then the machine gun and so forth. Opening hatches, of course, this one opens forward, this one opens, opens back, the machine gun. So all the features that, you know, give the tank its look, and it's right. dis dis I should say it's distinct look compared to all the other main battle tanks. Nice. So There we go. So there you go. So there it is. Um, I think this is an excellent tank. If you've been collecting some of our tanks, excellent tank to put with the other ones. It is also um, a main battle tank. Also so main look battle tank. good next to other main battle right. tanks. Right. Now we don't know, <laughs> we don't know of course if these tanks ever went up against each other who, who would be the last tank standing, but Let's not find that out. Okay, uh, very cool tank, John. Um, I think with that, that is the episode of Brickmania TV. Bye. For more information, check out brickmania.com. Like, comment, subscribe, ding the bell, ding John. Yes. How do you ding John? I. Yeah, that's it. I didn't hear a ding dinging noise. John. Yeah. I didn't hear a noise. Ding. ding. There we go. Sorry, I'm a little. My dinger's a little ding. slow. Okay. Anyway, fade to orange, more black, more whatever.